Under the Speaker's announced policy of January 5, 2011, the gentleman from California, Mr. Cardozo, is now recognized for 60 minutes as the designee of the Minority Leader. The gentleman is recognized for 60 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. So ordered. I want to thank my good friend for yielding this time to me. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor and remember a great American, Mrs. Linda Lopez, a treasured member of my staff who passed away over the Fourth of July weekend. It's somewhat appropriate that that was the weekend that she passed away since she was such an honorable and patriotic lady. Her services will be held today in our hometown that we shared. Linda was not only a dedicated constituent services representative, she was a tireless advocate and community leader in Merced, California. Born in New Mexico, Linda moved to California's Central Valley in 1955, where she attended public school in Madera and then later attended Stanford University. For the past 40 years, she was involved in civil rights and social justice work and was considered one of the most influential Latina Americans in the Central Valley. Linda's community leadership included serving on the City of Merced's Redevelopment Agency Gateway Project's Citizens Advisory Committee, the City of Merced's Planning Commission, and several City of Merced ad hoc committees. She also served on the San Joaquin Valley Partnership Telecommunications Committee and the California State Advisory Board for Transportation, Planning, and Environmental Justice. Linda Lopez was also an alumni of the Great Valley Center's ideal inaugural class, Hispanics Organized for Political Equality and Leadership Merced. Not surprising, given her devotion to her community, Linda was named the 19. 98-99 Hispanic Woman of the Year by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Linda joined my Merced District staff in 2006 as a constituent services representative, acting as my eyes and ears in the community. She worked on thousands of cases and helped thousands of people. She never let go of a case she believed needed work and was meritorious. Linda prided herself on giving 100% to everyone who walked in the office, regardless of their political po uh, party, the color of their skin, what they believed or didn't believe. She believed everybody deserved to be treated well. It was not unusual at all for Linda to work late nights and on weekends, to make home visits to elderly constituents needing assistance, or to follow up with a phone call long after she had done her best to resolve the case. The hallmark of Linda's work was her unbelievable compassion, and she was appreciated not just by the people she helped, by, but by her community as a whole. Linda's passion for making a difference set her apart from many others. She offered a kind smile and a compassionate ear to everyone she came in contact with. Often, Linda's relationship with other community members evolved into a mentorship programs and as her legacy, she asked that there be established a leadership scholarship in her name. Linda guided many other aspiring community activists in her passion and her efforts to serve others. In addition to her role as a public servant, Linda was a wife and a mother, and her beautiful family will miss her dearly. Linda Lopez made Merced, California a better place to live work and raise a family. Mr. Speaker, I am very proud today to call her a member of Team Cardoza and even more proud to call her a friend. Mr. Speaker, thank you for this opportunity to honor this great America, Linda Lopez, for her work, for her tireless efforts on behalf of our community, and for work on behalf of our, com our country. I'd like to now yield to my good friend, the gentleman from Florida, 
Mr. Deutsch for the remaining of my hour.